Hello and welcome live here at the Twin City Film Fest 10th year anniversary, day six. And we're right at the red carpet sponsored by Ballard Spa. And next to me from Massachusetts, we have Andrew Gibson, the director and co-writer for Gutterbug. How you doing today? Doing awesome. Very excited to be here. Uh, my first time in, in Minnesota, first time in Minneapolis. So um, yeah, I'm stoked. Oh, good. Well, you should have picked to come in the winter, right? For to express that, get the winter. True, true. Well, I grew up in Maine, so I'm used to cold winters. Ah, okay. Good, good, good. Well, let's talk a little bit about your film. So we're very excited to have your film here and the festival. So can you tell us where that idea came from? Yeah, it was inspired by uh, my time living in Alston, Massachusetts. Um, it's like a rock and roll neighborhood in Boston. Um, and the summer that I moved there, I was seeing a lot of uh, homeless kids around the streets. Um, and I would see them at, at coffee shops and uh, at liquor stores. And I'd also see them like at night, you know, on the town at, at uh, music, you know, concerts and stuff like that. And was just kind of interested in that lifestyle, um, like that vagabond um, kind of lifestyle where like you're kind of choosing to be homeless. You're choosing to be free from society, choosing to live on the streets. Um, and so we kind of just started working on, me and my co-writer Chris Tobin began working on um, a story about like one of those, a, a non-fiction story, a fiction story about one of those characters. So how long it took you from the moment you started until you got it ready to roll? Uh, it took us about a year to write it and then we filmed it in 17 days and then it took about a year to edit it. So all in all, probably like two, two and a half years, I think. All right. Yeah. And what about your lead actor? Can you tell us a little bit about him? Yeah, he's amazing. Uh, Andrew Yackel. Um, he was recently on Mindhunter and um, Swamp Thing, DC Universe's Swamp Thing. Um, we found him online through backstage casting, and he just submitted a, a casting video, um, and it was really amazing. And then um, we Skyped a couple times, and then he came out to uh, Alston and um, lived in my room for, for a month, and I slept on the couch and uh, <laughs> made the movie together. Perfect, perfect. Yeah. Well, those are the best times, right? When totally. you get to share with your team. Yeah, you know, the whole production was very, very indie film. Um, and we have a behind the scenes documentary too about the about the process that will be coming out on YouTube at some point. So, Okay, well, we'll have to stay tuned for that. Yeah, yeah. Now, before we started our interview, you were talking a little bit about the soundtrack mm -hmm. of this film. Mm -hmm. So tell us about that. Yeah, I think the soundtrack's one of my favorite parts. Um, it's a lot. There's like five or six bands from Boston: um, Nice Guys, Black Beach, Beef, um, Cult Fiction, Pink Suds. Uh, Sarah Greenwell did a song for it. Um, so it was really cool to have like all the local bands that I had been listening to for a couple years um, be a part of the soundtrack. Um, that's a lot of people's favorite part of it, is the soundtrack. And we also had some national acts in there, um, like Gorilla Toss is in our opening sequence, and Modest Mouse is the last song of the film is by Modest Mouse. Um, so I think the soundtrack is like one of my favorite parts, and it seems to be some other people's favorite parts too. Are you planning to put that soundtrack on a CD or something, iTunes? I hope so. Maybe a cassette tape. I think a cassette tape would kind of fit the vibe of the film. Uh, we put out a couple of VHSs of the film already, uh, some bootlegs. So I think a cassette tape would be cool or and maybe Spotify or something eventually as well. Very, very cool. Yeah. Well, tell me what challenges did you face going through the process of the film? Uh, I think some of the challenges were just because it was an independent, low-budget film. Like you know, a lot of locations we just like did guerrilla-style stuff. Um, so sometimes the audio was an issue because we were just running around the streets shooting it. Um, and some of the locations we didn't have permission for, so we got kicked out, and the cops were kind of chasing us around town <laughs> for a couple weeks. Um, so that was probably the, the hardest part. Yeah. Well, good, good. Well, thank you so much for being yeah. here at the festival, sharing with us and having your film here. It's great. And, well, we're very excited to have you here. Awesome. Thank you very much. Very nice meeting yeah, you again. And to you, please stay tuned for more of the interviews on day six here at the Twin City Film Fest with your host, Gabby Del Moro.